we want to convert the angular velocity of 3,000 radians per hour to radians per second. So how are we going to do that? Well, we always want to start out with a given. So we've got 3,000 radians per hour. So now we know that we want radians still on top, so we're going to have to do absolutely nothing to that. But it says I need seconds, so I need to convert hours to seconds. Now, you can convert hours to minutes to seconds, or hours to seconds, whichever way you want to do it. I'm going to do it in little bitty steps just because. So I know that in one hour, there are 60 minutes. Okay, so your hours cancel, so I'm left with minutes on the bottom, but I don't want minutes, I want seconds. So I know that in one minute, there are 60 seconds. So now your minutes cancel. So our units are correct. And now you just have to actually solve that. So what I did first is I just rewrote the numbers that I have so I know for sure what I'm multiplying by and or dividing. So there's what it simplifies to. And I reduce it and when I finally get to the end I get 5, 6 radians per second.